Hello, you guys. It's Kiana once again coming at you today. Um, I'm very tired. I'm in bed. Actually, the baby is down. Um, they just came back from Chuck E. Cheese. So today was pretty active. Um, although we did the little tailgating thing for my husband and his friends, um, the kids went to uh, Chuck E. Cheese, all the kids that attended. So it was just basically adults here. Um, everybody is gone. Um, my husband is doing the rounds with taking everyone home that didn't have their own transportation. Um, and I'm just now basically getting to um, how I achieved the tailgating party um, at short notice. Um, limited funds, of course. And um, I did it also within an hour and maybe about an hour, 15 minutes. I did everything. Um, as far as food, being dressed, you know, all that kind of stuff, dishes done, um, it took me probably about an hour and a half, maybe about an hour and 45 minutes, um, to complete everything. Uh, what I found is that what you can do is, um, while things are cooking, you can be going back and forth getting yourself ready. Um, many ladies out here know these things, um, but it is, this video is basically for ladies that may don't know how to multitask and um since my goal is to help people and i believe we should always help each other um this late you know ladies that you already know how to do this and maybe do more then um you know basically this would just be you know a video with us just chatting uh for you ladies that don't know um how to do these things then i think you'll probably find a lot of my cooking channels um that's going to be coming up my cooking shows i'm sorry on my channel um, you'll probably find that helpful. Um, not that often I'm going to be doing anything re re regarding tailgating. I am not a sports um, person at all. I'm extremely girly. I don't do the sports thing whatsoever. Um, so again, this was just done, you know, something special for him. Now I have a few tips that I made sure I jotted it down uh, before I made this video. And I want to just briefly go over them with you. Um, first of all, I want to tell you ladies, don't be afraid of semi-homemade, okay? And I'm telling you this because, trust and believe me, there is a lot of people out there that cook from scratch, and God bless your little heart. But you know what? Me being the type of person I am, and the husband that I have, he would very, very much so rather me cook, you know, some things that store bar and then, you know, jazz it up and look flawless when I arrive at the door you know when they arrive at the door then to have you know to say oh my wife fixed those brownies from scratch you know and really I mean that's just my opinion I would rather have the complete package than just to have everything from scratch um, I do do some items from scratch and um, I'm not putting down again anybody that does that but I just would rather have um, the complete package and the fact is I have, you know, children and I have a little one and I have a big one, you know, who's almost grown, um, running around. So, you know, those things are technically to me not that important. Um, so I do what I can when I can do it. Um, so again, I'm just making sure you ladies to know, do not be afraid, um, of buying prepackaged items. Uh, while we're still on the subject of being, uh, having prepackaged items, uh, I did want to talk about desserts. Um, as you all know, I did put down that I actually uh, made a cheesecake uh, with, uh, what was it, blue sanding sugar. Um, the cheesecake that I made was $1.00. This little baby comes with everything, including the crust mix inside of this box. You literally don't have to use anything but milk. And of course, you ladies, I told you guys to make sure you buy that powdered milk. So literally, this cost a dollar to make, and this cheesecake looked it absolutely fabulous. Um, I didn't have any purple sugar because we would have put purple for uh, the fact that we're in Maryland and the Ravens played. But I just use what I got, and that's my fo that's my uh, tip to you guys. Use what you have. I purchased this from 
a cheap store. Um, it's a cheap food market called Aldi, and it has all these different sanding sugars and stars and stuff like that. And it's it was for I guess Fourth of July or whatever Memorial Day, and evidently they overstocked these. They were selling these for fifty cents. So what I did was I used the blue. And although you know you're not going to always want red, white, and blue, it's the fact that you have other colors in here. And it wouldn't help, I mean, it wouldn't hurt just to have a red, white, and blue accent on maybe your cake or something like that. Because all when it boils down to it, it just, it just has to look pretty. And really, it doesn't have to be, you know, a theme to it. It just has to look pretty. So I used this blue, sprinkled this on top of um, the cheesecake, and it was absolutely delicious. Um, nobody knew. And I got this from... Uh, Aldi's and it was for uh, they have all right numbers it was for 97 cents and it's everyday price because Aldi sells all of their um, items it's not on sale it's just regular price and that was one of the markets I was telling you guys about I got this literally for 97 cents so that was quick um, I made actually two of those because we were serving up to 12 people um, and again if you see these kind of things even if it's not um, in season as far as like Maybe it's Thanksgiving themed and it's not Thanksgiving anymore. Buy them. Just buy them. Because first of all, the store, the shelf um, storage use or time is, is is ridiculous. You will, trust me, you'll have this a couple of months from now and it'll still be fine. Um, another tip I have is buy um, prepackaged desserts like that, but also buy um, cookie um, dough mix. Uh, sugar cookie dough mix all those kind of things because what you can do is use those prepackaged items and doll them up with items that you have um, I recommend that you use those items and then use fresh fruits and things like that um, on top of it or mix it in um, because it gives it a more homemade taste for one and secondly it's a, a very appealing to the eye um, and you can also just with the cookie um, cookie dough mix you can add macadamia nuts and things like that and then bake them and no one will know that that was semi homemade um, another tip I have is buy, buy sale items and store them um, for instance when I made the Reggie platter I actually purchased they had broccoli crowns uh, for 69 cents at Aldi's and you get two in a pack two big ones and then they had ca uh, cauliflower they had that for 79 cents for a whole head so what I did was I bought two of each of those came home and prepped them as far as washing them and storing them in freezer Ziploc bags and then um, placed them in the refrigerator and the reason why I did that is because of situations like this I was able to create a, a beautiful veggie platter that normally in the market it would cost between $12.99 to $14.99 and I created it for less than a dollar fifty cents total it was about a dollar fifty cents um, so I just recommend you guys uh, break down your items once you get them in the house um, that goes for your vegetables um, I would even go so far as to just dedicate a whole day um, to that if you're gonna have all your prepping for the whole month because I even come home and break down my onions I slice them my green pepper I put them all in Ziploc bags and then freeze them and that way you don't have to worry about um, using uh, having to chop it up at the time that you're fixing an item I even uh, pre-cook another tip I have is pre-cook your ground beef um, you don't have to do this to a lot of your ground beef or all of your ground beef but I do make several freezer containers or Tupperware of ground beef I make sure it's not seasoned that way I can season it with the items that I make for that meal example I break down some ground beef cook it break it down put it in the Tupperwares and then maybe take a Tupperware out and I can make tacos for one night I add the taco seasoning and things of that nature then the next day I may want to make lasagna so the ground beef is already done I just have to fix the noodles um, I don't recommend you do that with noodles because sometimes it does get a little mushy um, and I do like my noodles al dente so um, I would definitely pre-cook the ground beef and now they actually charge an arm and a leg for pre um, pre cooked ground beef that takes horrible um, but they already have these uh, prepackaged like taco ground beef meats and all that kind of stuff um, I also 
buy meatballs pre-cooked and a lot of people don't do that but I buy meatballs pre-cooked because a um, as far as money wise it's actually more economical if you're the type of person that buy ground beef it's actually more economical if you buy uh, meatballs pre-cooked and I just add a banging sauce on top of it no one will ever know the difference because the sauce is so banging that they will never know trust and believe me um, I made sweet and sour meatballs just now and they were pre-cooked meatballs and I added a homemade nice sauce to it no one ever knew and they all gone um, the next tip I have is keep tomato paste uh, always in hand uh, Aldi's food market has tomato paste literally 15 cents a can um, so I buy it by the case and keep tomato paste because what that does is tomato paste is just a reduced flavor um, it's very intense but it livens up any dish that you're going to use tomato sauce or tomato products in so just always keep tomato paste in hand it would enhance any dish that you have trust and believe me um, what else I wanted to tell you guys oh what I did was I boiled a huge pot of noodles and what you do is a time saver for um, one of my time saver tips is uh, you can make several dishes out of that one big pot of noodles for example tonight I fixed as you know taco bait and tuna salad but I'd use the same noodle boiled a huge pot of noodles and broke it down twice one was for the tuna um, salad and one was for the taco bait and I accomplished basically killed two birds with one stone um, that saved a lot of time versus having to fix noodles then drain them and then do it again for the next dish um, so just keep in mind that those kind of things will shave off 15 minutes of your time and um, that would be very useful trust me um, all together I fed, I fed about 12 people and I added up today it would have cost me approximately about $32 but I fed again I felt fed 12 people and we still have some items left over and they trust me they had pretty healthy portions um, that's about it so I just wanted to show you guys that again um, you can do things on a budget and not only beauty is uh, can be on a budget but I believe that um, doing anything for your family uh, can be on a budget and um, I thank you so much for tuning in and bearing with me through these tips that many of you guys already know but some of you don't so I hope that this helped those group of people thank you so much once again have a good night and be blessed